Let's check in now with CBS 2's Kevin Rincon. He joined fans in Jersey City for a big watch party tonight. Kevin. And Jessica, it was a heartbreaking loss, as you've been hearing, and the fans here, they felt that, but they also reacted very differently to that loss. They stayed here until the very end, gave their team a standing ovation. Mind you, the team was 100 miles south of here, but they still were trying to cheer as loud as they could, as if those uh, players could hear them. Now, one of the things that we did see here as well is how much this meant to each and every one here. The score didn't matter. The hundreds of fans here were just thrilled to see their team get this far. It's crazy that we made it this far because no one even thought they would win the first round. So many people came out to support, and it was so fun to see how happy everyone was and how far we made it. And this team put this like school on the map. They're such a small school, and like now everyone knows who they are. So many people are applying. Like it's incredible. The party atmosphere at the start did take a back seat to some disappointment as the Peacock struggled to keep up with UNC. But fans took every chance to cheer their team on as if they were watching them play in person. Very proud of the effort from the, of the boys, the young men on the basketball team, and especially Coach Holloway. And we really would like him to return. There are plenty of question marks surrounding what happens now, but in the moment, the support, the community bond, the memories created during this run, something no one here will soon forget. It just shows how people like to follow and support the little guy and the buzz this team helped create it's been appreciated throughout even by the youngest of fans they went a long way and it's okay they will always win in our hearts and those kids were here with their families who had ties to this school and that's what this run did was bring together so many generations so many different people from different walks of life together for this magical run and what so many told me is that they hope that this feeling can be recreated hopefully in the not so distant future we're live in jersey city kevin rincone cbs 2 news i love that little kid at the end kevin always in our hearts all right thank you so much and we'll have a lot more from otis later in sports to see all the photos of fans show showcasing their peacock pride and for all the coverage of St. Peter's Cinderella run head over to cbsnewyork.com